feels so happy. Cuteness is justice, that's why he's loved by Jimmy. My boy and Jimmy, Jimmy's so silly. Cuteness is justice, that's why my boy loves Jimmy. This is Mavo and Jimmy. Hey, hey, so this is the last episode of RuPaul's Secret Celebrity Drag Race Season 1, Episode 4. So uh, let's take a look at it. Our favorite one was last week. Yes, that was funny. And, loved uh, it. Yeah, we loved each contestant. So let's see what's going to happen yeah, this week. Last week was amazing. Yes. Let's go. Welcome to RuPaul's Secret Celebrity Drag Race with this week's Queen to Freak. Alyssa Edwards. Alyssa! Hey! Oh, good. Yay! Yeah. 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 This will be fun. <laughs> uh, the women do. Put it. Put it. Oh, yeah. One dope queen knows how to snatch a crown and wear it well. <laughs> My name is Amy Robinson. You might know me best from HBO's Tweet Up Queens. I've been doing stand up comedy for 11 years. I just hit the ground running performing on Staten So, glamour. Baby. <laughs> Baby. 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 I have zero experience with drag other than watching it, so I'm nervous, but I'm feeling like I can handle this. What well, I want to get experience. Well, you'll see that girl. Cool. That's cool. She's and gonna get to see that. Yeah. <laughs> Making sure my sewing light's not showing. Who is? I don't play. I slay. Who is? I'm Madison Garrett. I'm a singer from Long Island. I'm 20 years old. I got signed when I was 12, and I've been in it for a minute okay. now. And, uh, I've always loved music, and I'm just blessed that I get to make music. Oh, Madison, beer. Madison. So Phoebe and Madison. <laughs> we might Phoebe and Madison. I've just always had such an obsession and like a connection to drivers. <laughs> everything it stands for. Hello, hello, hello. I know. Who that? <laughs> Mother has a life. <laughs> I'm Haley Kyogo. I'm an actor slash singer. I want to do something that I'm not comfortable Haley. with and that I don't normally do. Haley, Haley Phoebe Madison. I'm Phoebe Madison. Phoebe Madison. Haley. 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 Madison. <laughs> right? Yeah. Madison. <laughs> Phoebe. Haley. <laughs> you want to be America's next celebrity I jacket. suck at remembering names. Yes. Yes. <laughs> jacket. Love jacket. Love that jacket. Bam. Bam. Phoebe. Madison. Haley. Phoebe. Madison. Haley. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. It's more of a burnt orange on the jacket. Yeah. 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 Monique Hart. Oh. <laughs> oh, yay. I'm happy with this uh, cast. <laughs> totally <laughs> opposite ends, all three yeah. of them. Monique Hart, I feel like I'll be a good mentor because I've helped younger people in my community back home in drag, right? This is not new to me. So we got this. Very bad team. <laughs> yay. Yay. <laughs> 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 What's that, Terrence? What's the other guy's name? Oh, Jason. 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 He's the one I think is the key. <laughs> He's been there about yeah. the longest. Yeah. We were just watching what season? Season four. Four, and he was on there. Jason. I'm already overthinking it. 
<laughs> they pulled out. <laughs> Just start yeah. going in any direction. My mother's names are extinct. Oh, I did a Wikipedia that at all, honey. <laughs> what about you, Madison? My name is Esther, and Esther? my face left was last Monday. Okay. <laughs> but they marked me with Shanti. <laughs> <laughs>
what do you want your dress tattoo? Whatever. I really love Queen Elizabeth. She's like this like badass woman who gets her job done. So I was thinking that her name could be Queen Elizabeth. I love that. <laughs> Elizabeth. I don't really know what to expect. I don't know how I'm gonna act. I don't know what I'm gonna look like. So it's gonna be an exploration. Who are some of your biggest favorite drag queen inspirations? Violet, service your best life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Feel up. Madison is coral fixation. She's uh, entertaining already. So <laughs> I feel like she's putting pressure on her. Oh, oh. Baby, don't fall. Okay. Let's practice walking first. Seriously? <laughs> Key to this. Okay. Put your weight on the ball of your foot. Oh, goodness. Okay. Let's go slow. Turn. Put the weight. Get strong ankles. Strong ankles. Mind over mouth. I got my work done. <laughs> but guess what? A winner never quits and a quitter never wins. And mom's right. Don't How be afraid. Don't be afraid. Dance with that oh, girl, feels. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I'm scared. So it feels fine. Don't do that. Alyssa Edwards, how do you find your right rhythm as a comic? What point in your career did you find it? When I met Jessica Williams and we started Cheeto Queen, there were no female black duos in Brooklyn just hosting variety shows. So we just went around and we do these rooms and just build up an audience and we just were like, we deserve to be here and take up space. And I think that was when I felt like, okay, you can be on stage. That's my thing is making yeah. people laugh. So this is like being all feminine and fierce and having that confidence to march into a room like in a male dominated industry it's really hard sometimes and this is making me be like just own it. This has been a teacher for many years. This is a male dominated teach mm. industry. Uh, it's well, owning the uh, You know, unapologetic male drag. And literature. So I'm here on behalf of Red and their main passion is all about raising money to bring down the cost of HIV medicine so that wow. people can actually afford it. The fight is not over yet. Yes. We can't forget just because it's gotten better doesn't mean our work is done. That's really cool. Great, great. I cannot wait nice. to see you on that stage. Nice. And I, are you having fun? I'm so excited. What makes you excited? I love Benji. Really? Yeah. Now, this is a glam rock challenge. What does glam rock mean to you? I'll start with you, Benji. You're more hip hop, though, right? <laughs> so, Josie and the Pussycats is, is glam rock for you. What's mm -hmm. glam rock for you? Honestly, I love Josie and the Pussycats. Yeah. I grew up on that. It's a perfect pairing. Now, have you ever done drag before? No, I have no I've idea. Have my idea. Femininity. David Bowie. Really? Oh. Yeah, like where I land on that spectrum. Do you have to know where you land on the spectrum? No, but it's something that I've in the, been in the early days. overcoming mm. and like discovering Grandma. through my years of just like Pretty living. Boy. So we're trying to find Grandma. that balance because the heels and the dresses, it's very out of my comfort zone. My comfort zone is on my couch in sweats and sneakers. Your challenge here is then to just allow whatever comes through to just come through you and not judge it. Yeah. I'm getting emotional. I'm so excited. You should get emotional. I was the same way, child. Well, what do you get emotional about? I love who I am, but it's taken a very long time to love who I am. Growing up, like, there wasn't somebody like me that I knew that I could be like, oh, like, I'm going to be happy and have a great life. At what point did you feel like you saw people like you. Not till I released my music. Yeah. I released Girls Like Girls in 2015. And that was like the first time where there were all these people that felt the way I felt. Yeah. And so music was an outlet for me to be like, this is who I am. Yeah. Tell me about your charity. I uh, chose Planned Parenthood. I think it's really important to save my sister's life. Not having health insurance and being able to go, it's a safe place. I think it's a great charity, <laughs> especially in the current climate where a lot of the funds are being taken away. Yeah. Right. Madison yeah. and Monique. Hi. What an interesting combination. You're a young woman. Any idea of She's what cute. might emerge <laughs> from your drag persona? Yeah, Madison. You know, to be more confident when I dance. I don't know. I feel are like you not confident like, when you dance? Not really. I mean, I don't really dance normally, but I feel like even when we were just playing around in these heels, I kind of feel you know, a little bit campier, more fun sure, for me. Yeah. So hopefully it give me a little more confidence. Not even just dancing in, in, in life. And yeah. I love creating music and releasing and performing and being on tour. So hopefully She's me being here really will young. Work out. She was yeah. when she was twelve. Uh, Attitude. Yeah. What's your charity? You the Trevor Project. Oh great. Yes. I'm competing for the Trevor Project, which I'm really passionate about. Okay. It's a charity program that is a suicide hotline, suicide prevention, mainly for the LGBTQ community, but obviously for anybody who needs it. I'm sure that's a cause near and dear to Monique's heart too, because people initially did not approve of you being gay. Every time you talk about it, like I just tear up because you just think about all the ones that we either lost or just all the ones that are still hiding in the closet now, just too afraid to be their most authentic self. Yeah, it's nice to have something like the Trevor Project existing for people to call in, for people to be 
helped and saved, hopefully so. Absolutely. Yeah. Doing it for you charity. Have, if you want to have a body <laughs> temperature, cherry pop. Did right. you put some more in? Okay, ladies, let's see what y'all can come up with together. I don't know. We're like, I'm a drag queen. I'm a bad, bad queen. Okay. <sighs> Make it a little bit more Extra like. Put some stank on it. <laughs> put some stank on it. <laughs> Guessing the makeup is to look. <laughs> wow. Are you kidding? Wow. <laughs> Yay! That's amazing. <laughs> wow. Did she do that? <laughs> just like coming into myself, and it's Monique, really can do that? excited for the world to see wow. these transitions. I feel that looks a nineteen eighties dynasty. Coral fixation. <laughs> I want to deliver. Jack. Jackie Most Collins. Wild. Free bird version of Jacqueline Madison. Collins. Jackie Collins. Are you ready? I'm so ready. This is my first time in drag, and I don't know what to expect. Oh, Come out, baby. I am gorgeous. My eyes are heavy. Yeah. They are heavy with fierceness. Whoa. It's so weird because I feel like my eyebrows were meant to be this height. We gotta put your lashes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like boom. I don't have my lashes, I don't have my lips, I don't have my wig, I don't have my outfit. Yeah, so why show I them? don't feel like I am fully Queen Elizabeth yet. Come on, sit down, we got that. Exactly, never show them the halfway. Yeah. Yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, representing the House of Edwards. Please meet Miss Coco Tina! <laughs> I left this and all. This, this. Oh my gosh, how do you feel it? I, I look amazing. I've never worn this much makeup before, and I want to do this every yeah. day now. Yeah, I love it. Okay. She looks more like Monique. Like Monique had done that makeup. Oh, oh like Asia. There's no going I think that's Monique no Hart makeup. I'm going to own makeup. this. I'm not going to deflect. I'm not going to, you know, look like, at the face. About it. That's I'm just going to appreciate it and just sort of like stand in my chair. That's kind of the way Monique would do her makeup. Let the competition begin! Oh, it already started. You late. We're claiming our trophy, our crown. Don't be so sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lee. <laughs> oh. Come on, hey, Lee. Get out of your head. We're not going to yeah. I think it's, you're freaking yourself out. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Nobody ever knows what they're doing. Yeah. Don't worry about all that. And don't be like, if you see other people doing things and like, she's doing this, she's being sexy, she's doing, girl, do you, have fun, enjoy yeah. your fun, that's gonna read, yeah. that's, that's what's most important. Find you. Yeah. Bailey thinks that like, she had to be super feminine to be a dresser. I'm like, girl, now we're doing Ooh, what? Oh. I'm not trying to channel more feminine or more this or come up with a character. Bitch, I'm just me. And that's what I, that's what I want to help her, you know, channel that. You're making this character so she could be as butch. Boots and determined. You're too masculine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love Angie. I just it is a lot. I want to be great. We have concise heart-to-hearts where she's like, I get you. I'm like, cool, I get you. At least I care. Yeah, of course. And I hope to to make her proud. Just drag it out. Take a black floor, you know, the uh, celebrity drag but, uh, Michelle Vestia, I know Lake you Vestia. hate to kiss and tell, <laughs> but have you kind ever of. slept with the rock star? Drew, in all these years that you've known me, since when do I kiss? <laughs> and yes, style superstar Carson Kressley, uh, do you play any instruments? Just the organ, but never in public. <laughs> The hilarious Ross Matthews. Now, Ross, 
Do you want a rock? I prefer a roll. Sourdough, wheat, pumpernickel. <laughs> this week we challenge our celebrity queens to rock out. Start your engines and may the best drag queen win. Winses. <laughs> Did you know that I was in a heavy metal band? He was in a heavy metal band in high school. <laughs> I wasn't. Can, can you believe that? Zilla. <laughs> so she did good. Yeah. So did you notice that's Alyssa singing? Alyssa, yeah. She looks like drag queen. Yeah. The little one. Yeah. This is Coco Teeny. I've always Coco been here. looks kind of a lot like Monique Hart. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> And she's got the lips <laughs> down. Yeah. Wow. And attitude and all. I'm crying. We're performing this bitch clock in. Yeah. <laughs> she's got well of his body. <laughs> <laughs> to me, I kind of actually was trying to see her talk. Oh, uh, yeah. But sometimes I check out the talks to see if they talk well. <laughs> and I just was looking, and I was like, okay, there's nothing to talk. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah. She does not have a meaty talk. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I like the Haley, the performance. Yeah. Yeah. She was unleashed. unleashed. Yes. And she wasn't having to worry about being feminine yeah. or anything. Yeah. Yeah, she just was like rock and roll. Yeah, rock and roll. Good for her. Good for her. That was fabulous. All right. All right. Redemption. Well, th th this part, Haley won for me. Redemption. Yeah. Okay, now we won't watch <laughs> This was a slow goer. The category is Queen for a Day. Maybe you could fast forward through yeah, some yeah, of that fashion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We really should and cut this and one short. Yeah. And please <laughs> Oh. Gorgeous. I want to take you uptown and downtown. All around town. Very moaning heart again. <laughs> Cocotini. I've let out this inner diva, and I'm only well, I see it. every I, I, woman like out there needs to try to find her inner fierceness by doing that. This is amazing. That's real cotton candy. Yeah. She just Thank pulled some out and ate it. Oh, my. Don't sweat in that dress. This Look at Monique's dress. Huh. This is Coral Fixation. Whoa. 
Is a free bird who's willing to be silly and who's willing to be happy. That's <laughs> who I really am. I came here to become a drag queen, and my dreams are coming true. Real fun. So it's just like an undergarment with Welcome a. Welcome to yeah. the yeah. Uh, uh. just devastated that runway. I want to put the choices. Now it's time for the judges. Who, judge who chose that dress, though? Starting with cocoa tea. Ooh, served over ice. I like I that. thoroughly enjoyed. I love a glamorous. Campy, sparkly, sense of humor, whimsical drag look. So this. Pull well, it she's up got on a. Baby she has on a face right. breastplate. I'm with Carson. Only it's ironic because you're dressed like a taxi, but you look uber great. <laughs> <laughs> you're giving me a lift right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that's funny. Anyway, well, on top of everything, having natural breasts and putting a breastplate on top of that, <laughs> those things are not easy, and the queens make it look easy, but you just assimilate it, and you look incredible tonight. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. This means so much to me, honestly. Queen Eliza, Beth. <laughs> oh, hello. More dragzilla I love this. I mean, after that, I was dead. If not dead, I was at least in critical condition. It was so good. You hit every possible yes. note and nuance and really personified Banji's voice because you were living that song. You weren't just lip syncing. You were doing it. Thank you so much. You look gorgeous. It's just delicious from tip to toes. You remember Bob walked out purse first? You came out dessert first. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just... So fun and so full of whimsy. It gave me a sugar rush. This is a really, really top-notch drag look that is incredible. Thanks. You should be really proud of yourself, kiddo. I get emotional when people say nice things, so. You suck, you're horrible. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Do you think you look gorgeous? I do. Do you not feel that way in your everyday life? I do, but I definitely, growing up, worried about my image and what I looked like and like if I looked gay or like that was a big thing and so I never allowed myself emotionally to be beautiful. like oh yeah Better people knows. wear a candy dress and look like incredible but also be a boss lady and then still be kind of like a tomboy in heels why try to change who you are just like you know accentuate who you already are and what you're good at you can push the boundaries but push it within yourself and finding your power through drag is just an amazing tool. It's an amazing tool. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Everything's coming full circle. Then I'm just happy because yeah. he observed this moment. Hey. Uh, next, coral fixation. Wow. You know how to find your moment. And you found so <laughs> many moments in the Dragzilla number. You just look like you were in charge of the number. I appreciate it. Thank you. This look. This is very editorial to me. Like this is very glam. I wish they, secret, they painted around the neck and to the chest. Really area beautiful, too. Like, and all of the details are great. Kind of like great. two tones. Pretty. Yeah. And this is not as campy as the other one. It still has a color. sense of humor. Yeah. And it's still beautiful at the same time, and that's a win for me. Thank you. It's very different to the high drag you did in the performance. It's very kind of Linda Evangelista. Oh, thank you. you just look stunning. You look like a supermodel. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mr. President. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Of course, thank you. All right, ladies. I think we've heard enough. Now, now. prepare for your final lip sync. You may return to the wardrobe. Right, I did that. I got to see you like this in my treasure. Mm -hmm. In my car. On curl and in I, front I can't of the dark the rest of the competition. Group. That's now, fabulous. Lip sync for our charities. Look, Coco Tini, you know the words. You know when to pop your booty. Let it out. Just believe Let in yourself. And show the judges that you deserve this crown. And this is just my last chance to prove myself, so I'm just going to try to turn it out to the best of my abilities without my breaking the rules. My going to I have gone through an incredible awesome. journey and transformation, so like, I'm in the zone, baby. If the world isn't ready for well, Queen Elizabeth, they better get ready, because we're about to slay on stage. Did, Let's go. With as much apprehension as she had, uh -huh. and the come and do she did uh -huh. on stage. Haley killed it in that first lip sync. Yeah. yeah. And the title so. of America's next like, just came alive. The time has come for you to lip sync for your charity. What's in front of an audience? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's proper.
<laughs> Go, Haley. Once they performed, once Bailey got up there, yeah, it changed. Like changed everything. Yeah, because she was struggling the most in the pre. Yeah, I, I, I thought it's gonna be show. like a, overall like a wow wow story. Yeah, I mean episode. Uh, it was amazing. But, but yeah. I mean she turned it out. Yeah, so. good so, for her. Yeah, I'm glad she won. <laughs> with she younger turned, dog yeah, she winner. Out really good, and I like the cotton candy outfit too. Of course you do. <laughs> I would wear that. Of course you would. You would eat it, or you yeah. got off the stage. <laughs> That's your job. <laughs> well, I hate cotton candy. Oh, you do? No. Oh, they don't know. <laughs> I have a cotton candy right there. You see those candy piles? This is what we're eating every single day. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> well, it's a little. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, see you next time. Next well, one is a Ru RuPaul Drag Race uh, Season 12 Reunited. Finale. No. no, reunited first. Reunited first. Then they're gonna do whatever version of the finale will be yeah. interesting to see how that ends from home. So, alrighty. Have a wonderful week and see you next video.